Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we got turned into a pig. That's kind of fun. The thing of it is, there's been a bit of a transformation pandemic going on thanks to Jin's uncle, Nabu, who has gotten a hold of some quote-unquote royal nectar and got drunk and has been using a magic wand to turn everybody into animals. I mean, there are worse things he could be doing. Anyway, here we are in... What is this place again? Toggle names. Village of Lupia. Here we are in the Village of Lupia. Let's explore. Uh, we can't go there. But we can look at these. This, this is really cool here. We are seeing the past heroes and heroine of the Wonder Boy series. I believe this is the hero from the first game. And this guy is the hero from Wonder Boy 2 and 3. Including Dragon's Trap. Wonder Boy 3, Dragon's Trap. This is the character from Wonder Boy in Monster World. And this is the heroine, the green-haired girl that Pepe Le Goo is looking for, from Monster World 4. While we're on the subject, can, can we talk about how chronologically confusing the Wonder Boy games are? We can? Awesome. Good, because I have a chart. Okay, so... Wonder Boy. Let's start with Wonder Boy, up there at the top. It's the first game in the series, not confusing, it's just Wonder Boy. If we look over to the left in the chart, Wonder Boy wound up getting a remake called Wonder Boy Returns. Which sounds like it should be a brand new game, because, you know, Returns. But no, it's, it's just a remake. If we go down from Wonder Boy, we have the second game, Wonder Boy in Monster Land. That's fine. But going from there, there are two Wonder Boy 3s. And I wound up doing some research about how exactly that happened. To my understanding, Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap is a console game while Wonder Boy 3 Monster Lair is an arcade game, and it's kind of like a side-scrolling shoot'em up. Kind of sort of like the auto-scroller that the original Wonder Boy was. So, kind of weird that they wound up both being called Wonder Boy 3. Things also get kind of confusing with the ports and remakes of Dragon's Trap, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But following the Wonder Boy 3s, we had Wonder Boy in Monster World, known in Japan as Wonder Boy 4 Monster World 3. Um, it's the fourth Wonder Boy game, that part makes sense. But then it's like Wonder... Monster World 3? Well, it's apparently like the third game in the Monster World format of games, which started with Wonder Boy in Monster Land. And I want to say following up the Dragon's Trap, considering that is also in that format. So I guess, technically speaking, Wonder Boy 4 is the sequel of Dragon's Trap and not Monster's Lair. And then came Monster World 4, which dropped the Wonder Boy title. Presumably because it starred a girl and therefore calling it Wonder Boy wouldn't have made sense. If anything, maybe they could have called it Wonder Girl. And now we have w Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. But then comes the Adventure Island series. So, Adventure Island is a Hudson Soft rebranding of Wonder Boy that released on the NES. I don't know the full story of what happened there. I think, like... Hudson Soft got the license to make a Wonder Boy game, but not using the Wonder Boy title or something. And so Adventure Island started and they used their own character, Mr. Higgins, and that wound up spawning its own chronologically confused series. 
you can see from this chart, we had Adventure Island 2, which got ported to the Game Boy as Adventure Island 1. And then Adventure Island 3 got ported to the Game Boy and titled Adventure Island 2. And then from there, things got kind of normal. Adventure Island 4, and then Super Adventure Island, and Adventure Island... Super Adventure Island 2. And not as much confusing from there on. But if we go back to the Dragon's Trap, that got ported to the TurboGrafx-16. By Hudson Soft. Once again, they did not have the license to use the Wonder Boy title. So in the US, it got renamed Dragon's Curse. That was actually the first Wonder Boy game I played, by the way. When I first played the games, it was Dragon Curse on the TurboGrafx-16, specifically on the Wii's Virtual Console. But for some random reason, in Japan, they decided to retitle the game Adventure Island, even though it is nothing like the Adventure Island series. And then, of course, we have Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, which is the remake of Wonder Boy 3 that released on various platforms such as Nintendo Switch. In case anybody is interested, I have streamed the remake. It is available to watch both here at Twitch and at YouTube, so definitely check that out. I had a lot of fun playing that. But yeah, this is, this is a mess, I gotta say. Uh, back to exploration. Information. The castle? That way. I feel like I need to press the A button or to exit the message, but apparently, um, maybe not. No, you can just walk away from it. Well, not able to do anything here. Although I am curious. Oh wait, never mind, there's ground there. Couldn't tell at first, but that's definitely ground. Hey, you weren't there for before. Sister Abigoat. Okay, never mind, that actually tells me that what I was asking earlier about Mr. Cat. I get the feeling that these characters are changing their names to fit their species. Either that or her name actually was Sister Abigoat, and Uncle Nabu has decided to give her a fitting form. Either way, you look cute as a goat. We don't see King Leon... Uh, let me guess, King Leonidas has been turned into a lion. We don't see King Leonidas, Leonidas, whichever, very often since Sir Mr. Cat represents the royal family here in the village. I'm sure our king will find a way to remove this curse soon. Can I, can I move? Uh, apparently I can move even during dialogue. Down is the sewers and crystal caves. I haven't been able to go there yet. I'm gonna have to... Make a habit of not pressing the A button to try to advance dialogue. Hi, Mr. Ollie! I see you weren't spared by the curse either. No, it doesn't bother me that much. I just wish I still had my music sheets. Sheets? Could this be what you lost? Oh my! That's one of them! Thank you so much, Jin. Okay, before I advance the dialogue, can we take a moment to appreciate all the animal characters going on around here? A giraffe, there's another goat or maybe a sheep in the background there. We're along with an ox. This is really neat to see. A kind of a shame that the mouse did not have a tail, though. That's very unfortunate. Great! I really appreciate your help. 20 music sheets are missing. Please keep looking for them. I'm counting on ya. 
Let's see in detail what you got so far. So we'll be able to unlock some songs to play here in this area if we complete a song. So far we got part of It's a Treasure Box. Rabbit up there. Very pretty fox. Or cat, I guess. Katrina. I want to explore the Misty Woods now, er, but now it's too dangerous. Someone said they saw a mushroom as big as a tree in there. White Tower. Ugh, the puzzle with this place. I did not have to look at very many puzzles, uh, very many something. I did not have to look up very many things in order to 100% this game my first time through, but this, this is one of the things I had to look up. And this here is going to be a warp point. Can't use it yet, though. Gotta love the uh, foreground elements. The windmill. Well, y you can apparently... Walk around and sniff when write reading signs, but you can't jump. Miss Panda Pan. Jin! That uncle of yours has caused a lot of trouble. I know, Miss Panda Pan. Sorry that he turned you into a panda bear. Actually, I'm happy this way. These strong paws are perfect for kneading bread. You know what? Good for you, Miss Panda Pan. I definitely hope that you get to stay a panda and do not get turned into a human at the end of this adventure. But unfortunately, Nabu crashed into my windmill with his barrel. It hasn't turned since, so now my grains aren't being grinded. Can you help? I'd love to, but I'm not exactly in the best form for jumping and climbing. Yeah, you wouldn't get far in that plumpish shape. Once you lose all that weight, can you go up and check things out? The ladder leading up there got knocked down, so it's hard for me to reach it. No, you're definitely too heavy. And I don't know that I can do anything right here for the time being. You still haven't found the orb hidden in the misty woods located west of here? And just as I expected. While I'm thinking about it, can, can we talk about the size of the text here? That is small. I really wanted to stream this game a long time ago, but it wasn't until like a year or so ago that I started streaming at 720p. Before that, I was at 480p, and that is definitely not a good size to be streaming games with such small text. One cork a day keeps the secrets away. Oh boy, this thing was annoying to get into. Shout out to the guy up there on the roof looking all cool and mysterious. You're not important, but you certainly look it. <laughs> I, I find it... Very, very fitting uh, that a sheep is running the inn. You can definitely count on her to ensure you'll get some good rest. Let's see, I'm not hurting too much on health. Oh, what's this? Anti-affliction potion. 
makes you immune to every negative status for a few minutes. Yes. Maddie says she looks like such a sweetheart, too. Indeed. I'm trying to think, do I want to spend money on this? Mm, I'm going to try to manage without. Because equipment gets expensive, and I want to be able to eat, eat, buy this stuff. I don't know what these two kids here are. Let me let me get you on camera. Well, I don't know what these two kids here are playing. But they're concentrating quite a bit. I do not understand why some people have tails and other people do not. I guess Uncle Nabu needs some practice with his spell casting. It's a bit inconsistent. Okay, I definitely want to buy some more magic. Gimme, 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 gimme. And... Gimme. Misty Wiz and Lost Temples are in this direction. Well, let's get started. And we have this wonderful song right here. This is a song that will get stuck in your head. Da -da -da. Didn't see that coming. Oh, wait, wait. Secrets here, though. Didn't see that coming either. I did, however... Not, not necessarily see this secret, but this is one of those secrets that I had trouble finding, but definitely remember it now. Please give me some bubbles. Okay, I can't get in there yet, but I can at least get in here. And that leaves. So we'll have to go back down there at some point. Watch out for fireballs. It's kind of weird that sunflowers are shooting fireballs. Well, it was weird until I said it out loud, and actually that kind of makes sense. What are we looking at right here? This statue right here. No! Oh. oh gosh, it's this thing. No! Go away! Ah! No! Stop! Cease! This is... And I forgot how to stop there. Well, I'm already hurting. It's a nice touch, by the way. That this place is all scorched up by this fiery cloud. Just keep running. Just keep running. It's gonna get even more annoying in a bit. Jumps and or jump and stop on enemies to make yourself jump higher. Press L down in Y in midair. It's a bit late to be giving me instructions on how to stomp, considering it was required just to reach this point in the game. By the way, as a reminder, if a bottomless pit is not marked as bottomless, it's not actually bottomless. I want that. You know what? I'm gonna grind on you for a moment. Because there's gonna be another cloud coming up, and it is even worse. Thankfully, C point right here. No secret there. Hello, Snake. Now 
That was a sneaky secret right there. Oh, I... You ever hear the phrase, if it was a snake in the grass, it would have bit me? Oh, that thing. Come here, you. You give money. Don't run too far now. You ran too far now. Uh, that cloud. Hold on a sec. I want to try to relocate that golden mushroom. Oh, that's why that spring is there. To kill you. That's rude. Give me that heart, please. Unfortunately, no, the golden mushroom got away. Had I not turned back for that one coin, could have kept on punching that mushroom or shooting fireballs at it. Got a lot of money that way. Oh well. I'm pretty sure the golden mushroom will respawn if we left the map and came back, but I don't entirely feel like doing that, and there's that. So, status effects are a thing in this game. That one reverses your controls. Oops, I was actually hoping to open my menu. I could cure it somewhere. Where are my items? Where are my items? I forget how to access items. Oh, here we go. I would go over here to use it. But it wore out, so no big deal. So down is the Misty Woods. Left is the Lost Temples. We're not actually going to be able to do that, though. We need to figure out how to get to the Misty Woods. Stomp on this, I guess? Yep, that would do it. Now we're getting to some puzzles down here. Gotta light things up. Because that scares away the roots for some reason. Oh, I forgot about those guys. Oh, those guys hurt. As soon as the torches go out, by the way, the roots come back. Oh, right, that's a root. Um, let's actually go along down here. And that'll give us an unlimited supply of fireballs if we need them. Wow. That's the second time that I've been snagged by some roots. Enemies, hidden in roots, that is. Oh, it's not giving me fireballs because I'm full up. Maddie is asking if the combo attack is still in this version. Oh, there we go. Yeah. If you're holding a direction, it is. No oh, crap, you. Crap, crap, crap. Out. Give me some more. Oh, wait, never mind. I got more from that enemy. What does this do again? Uh -uh. 
But hey, now I can get through here. Oh. Shoot. Okay, I need to remember how to do this puzzle. I don't remember how to do this puzzle. Wait, I remember how to do this puzzle. I want that! Oh, come on! Ah, well, I don't need it that badly. Okay, so the puzzle is, hit that, then hit that, and I'll scare the roots over to here, but then it's like, oh, that's lit up too, and... There we go! That's a pretty neat puzzle. And welcome to Misty Woods! Okay, I just want to say that I really like... Oh gosh, secret coins. I really like the sound that the little mushrooms make when you kill them. That's a nice sized coin. And... There's a secret up here, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere. One of these leads to a secret. Well, it led to a coin at least. Maybe not quite right here. Nah, somewhere else. There is gonna be a secret like that at some point. Speaking of which... There's also gonna be a point where I'm gonna to wanna to sink down for secrets. But it's not gonna be here. I feel like there is a secret here, though. Oh! That's right, it's this secret. I wonder. No, those can't get to it. So that's another secret we'll have to get whenever we get the opportunity. Oh no, you know. I said no, you don't. There we go. I knew one of these places was going to hold a big old secret. Oh yeah, these things. Power gem. Blacksmiths can use these to add cool upgrades to your armor and will make you a tougher, more powerful warrior. So not only can we buy equipment, we can upgrade equipment. Excuse me, I want that before it disappears. I also want this before it disappears. Uh, nothing I can do the, down here, so... Uh... You think that coin's gonna come back down? I don't think it is. Come here, you. Oh, the... I was... I, I, I don't know how that happened. Was I still having a foot in the mud? Possibly. Oh, crap. Out of that. Give me more. Somebody give me the... Gosh. Come over here. Come here. Nope. Oh, crap.
Yep, boy. Almost. As an aside, I really don't like mud. Even if I had wound up deciding to stay a pig, I probably would not want to be wallowing in mud. Cause like, years ago, when I was little, I don't know what I was doing, but I got like, completely covered in mud. So much so that when I had a bath, the bath water become really filthy, and there was a ring of mud around the tub. That was not a pleasant experience, and ever since then, I did not like getting dirty. I'm not a germaphobe, but I'm an ichophobe, an ichyophobe, I guess. Something like that. Uh, you know what? You're not worth it. Oh yeah, I can stun enemies. Can I stun you? Oh gosh, not like that. I'm not. What's this? Oh, give me, give me. New spell! Super Boomerang Truffle. Your boomerang skills have been unlocked. Boomerangs damage foes and collect loot from a distance. They even go through walls and can be recaught. Find more truffles to increase your boomerang magic. This is like... One of the best spells. Because potentially it's infinite use. Observe. Trust me, it came back. All right, you. You're mine. You never know, there might be another secret in the mud somewhere. Okay, how to do this? Not like that. Oh yeah, I remember now. I saw somebody up there. Hello, you. Hi, Mr. Pig. Not really my day. Can you be a pal and break that cage for me? He didn't recognize me at all. You know what you need, Jin? You need, like, some identifying feature. Like, in all my art, regardless of what form I'm in, I am wearing my glasses. I have these trademark glasses that I am wearing in all of my art, and therefore, anytime you see me, not that image, anytime you see me, did I already delete the image? I already deleted the image. Well, trust me. I showed an image earlier where I was wearing glasses. Oh wait, I can just go to this. I am wearing my trademark glasses. That is how you know it is me. I also usually have my red hair, but you are kind of lacking in hair at the moment. Who? Mr. Blue Hair. Mr. Blue Hair? Well, I can tell that you've changed, but in a good way. I really like that new snout of yours. Would you mind breaking that cage for me, please? It feels a bit cramped in here. Eh, I guess. Thanks, buddy. 
Why were you in a cage? I don't know. I just stumbled upon this trap. Anywho, thanks again. See you, Mr. Blue-Haired Pig. Wait! Oh, okay. Thank you! It's kind of funny that I was... trying out being a pig myself. Because I'm not really a big pig fan, and a part of it is their snout, and it's like... Pigs have these upturned noses. It's kind of weird. Oops. Ah! But the other day, it occurred to me that almost all animals have their nostrils sticking out front. It is humans who have the weird noses. Because it's like... Humans have that flat face, with the exception of their triangle noses, which are just jutting out like it's some sort of canopy. Human noses are weird when you think about it. Da -da -da. I'm in a rush. This is not the ideal place for a rush. Wait, where am I going? Could I have jumped over there? I probably could have. Oh no, I forgot about you. Get the, get the spider. Let's see if I can do this again. Indeed. Oh, but it doesn't jump me as high as I thought it would. Okay, perfect concept. Can I jump over this? No. What was my goal then? Y'all need to stop responding, please. actually kind of makes sense, you know? Get rid of you. Because those things are annoying. Their webs are... something that will cause status afflictions. They cast slow on you. I forget what exactly that does aside from make you walk slower. Hello, pretty fox lady. Why the long face? First things first, that's not a fox, that is a red panda. Second, her name is Ginger. Oh, you're sweet. It's about my family. My husband, my husband Foximus is quite upset that our children look like raccoons now. Why? Uncle Nabu. At least they didn't get changed into something worse. Trust me, Pig Snort. If only there was a way to remove this curse. See, you call it a curse, I call it a blessing. Honestly, even being a pig wouldn't be that bad. Though, after spending a couple weeks as a pig, it was certainly weird being something that a lot of people, including myself, considers food. There were actually a couple of days there where I was actually hesitant to eat pepperoni pizza. It, it just didn't feel right. No joke either. Even though it was only for pretend, it felt uncomfortable. Like, legit. Don't worry, ma'am. There's hope, but we need a magic orb said to be hidden in this forest. Is that so? Foximus knows the forest better than anyone. You can find him up on the treetop. 
Good luck. Map updated. We are going to the treetop. But not before saving. I saw that treasure chest down there. Can't get it yet. Let's see, over here... I need to get up to that door somehow. Again, I say, I love the cry of pain that the mushroom gives. I know that sounds sadistic, but it's just how it sounds. The, the, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, no, I'm going to save my money a bit more. Though I will buy a couple of these. Okay, so there's two doors up in the air. Don't ask me what I was doing there. Okay, that was actually kind of fun. Okay, first thing I want to try... Well, I'm not getting that. Oh, suddenly there's a sparkly platform there to help me back up. If I were to fall down. Okay, what we got? New spell! Super Thunder Truffle. He have received electrifying abilities. Call down lightning that shocks foes and activates special objects. Find more truffles to improve your lightning magic. Ring menu. Ring menu unlocked. Now you can switch between your magics with ease. You can disable it in the options menu. Nah, this is awesome. Very useful. I forget how exactly this spell works. I want to say it zaps everything above you. That's it. As I was walking up to you, it's like, I know something's going to sneak out up on me at some point. Oh, dear. I don't feel like... Well... Okay, I'll demonstrate it this, this one time. I don't think it causes any damage. Oh. Yep, it slows down your walking speed. Okay, let's get rid of you. Okay, we need to get up there. That's what we need the lightning spell for. Hint, hint. And this will be tricky. Come back here, darn it. Why you always gotta bounce that way? Okay, need to work on the timing a bit here. Need to work on the aim a bit there. There are other forms that would have an easier time with this part, but... The intent is absolutely try to get over there. Ooh! Hold on a sec. First off, I can grab that now. But you can still kind of move in the air while you're stomping. That is good to know. There we go. That was indeed very useful information. And for our troubles, we get... I forgot about those things. Gold bracelet parts. Collect them all and give them to a talented blacksmith to create the ultimate bracelet. How big are the coins? 
Five each, huh? Honestly, this would not necessarily be a bad place to grind. Not that I'm going to do that. Nope. Oh, there's going to be a spider coming out of there. No, lightning. No, not there. Must be thinking of another spot. Though, just in case, going the long way under. Please don't respawn. Okay, for you, yeah, that'll do. Well, that didn't kill you, but whatever. Oh, they eventually respawn. Does this lead somewhere? No, it doesn't. I see you up there. Okay, uh, it's definitely gonna be here that we wind up having... Okay, that's not the exact spot that I was thinking. Huh. <sighs> that went well. Um... Okay, I remember what to do here, kinda. This is a reset button. We need to... Do this. And that will allow us to get up there. But, uh... Yeah, I already screwed up. So I'm just gonna do this to admire the animation of a pig pushing a heavy box. That is a nice animation. Let's try this again, but better. Here we are. So this is Foxamus. What are you doing up here, Pigman? Can't you see I'm busy trying to catch the fly that flying fool? I'm sorry my uncle transformed your family, but your uncle? Jin, is that you? <laughs> and I thought my twins being turned into raccoons was bad. Okay, what is your beef with raccoons? Wait till I get a hold of that Nabu. He'll regret entering my forest once I'm done with him. I know you're mad, but believe me, my uncle has never acted like this before. I've learned there's another way to fix all this, but we need the legendary sacred orbs. That old fable? Ugh, I guess it's worth a try at this point. Here, this will let you explore the forest. Better find what you're looking for before I teach Naboo a lesson. Yeah, there, there's a few people that got Naboo on their hit list right now. Foximus King opens the door leading to the deep forest area. Yep, updated. We're going down there. Wee. 
I don't think there was a secret along the drop there. No. So let's go ahead and... Hmm. Actually, let's probably go ahead and end things here. Because I know what's coming up and I don't necessarily have enough time to do it. So... It's time for us to end things here. Now, before everybody runs off... Uh, it occurred to me that I totally forgot to link the development blog of this game whenever I was talking about watching this game during development. Oh well. Before everybody runs off here, let's see here. Is there anybody I'm following that is streaming right now? The answer is... Yep. Lashris is streaming right now. Let's see if he's still streaming or if he's ending things. Definitely still streaming. So let's go ahead and raid Lashris and I will simply say thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.